Welcome back everyone. In today's video I'm going to talk about the evolution of the workbench, particularly the evolution that every woodworker goes through with their workbench. It's going to be a pretty natural segue into some of the activities that I've been doing lately around making plans for my complete workbench build. Now if you guys have watched my channel for a while you know that my workbench has been quite an evolution particularly over the last few years. I did one build video which kind of encompassed the basic build of the work table. Then a couple of years later I upgraded that work surface to include an MFT top. I've also added a few small features to help enhance the functionality of the workbench. So the workbench that I had 10 years ago was a big blocky type of workbench, something that you guys might be familiar with. It was a large surface work table. It was about five and a half feet long by three feet deep. It had four posts as legs and it had a heavy shelf at the bottom. At the time I thought this is my dream workbench. This is great. It's going to be nice and solid. I could barely move it. And through the years of using that workbench I found that it was too much workbench for me. It took up too much space in my garage. Of course when you commit to a workbench you basically end up using it for years because it's too much trouble to go and build a new one. So you kind of just put up with it. Moving into a new house, I got the materials together to build a new workbench and the design I wanted to go with that I'd been looking at for a long time was a more Scandinavian style traditional woodworking bench, at least in terms of its structure and its basic design as a work table. This workbench served me pretty well for a year or two but then I found that a lot of the clamping configurations that I do just weren't possible. I needed something more. And so again, I did a lot of research around MFT tables and I looked at what Festool came up with for their MFT table. I looked at other adaptations of MFT tables um, such as the Polk workbench and other designs that are out there. And all of them were really fantastic, but I needed something that would adapt to the workbench that I had already built so I didn't have to throw out the design that I already had. So looking at the workbench that I had, which was still a very good work surface and a very good design, the overall size was still very functional for my workspace, I decided to build an MFT top that was removable that could sit on top of the work table. Again, these are all in videos. I have a video on the initial workbench build and then I have a video on the upgrade to the MFT table. Having upgraded to this MFT top, I was able to use surface clamps a lot more effectively. I was able to use them on the front of the workbench and not just on the top of it. And that eliminated the need for a complex vice system or a bulky vice system at the front of the bench. Again, I wanted to be a little bit more nimble than what you have on the traditional woodworking benches. I find that this has been definitely the most effective workbench design for my small workshop. What I've been doing over the last two weeks is working diligently on a complete set of plans for this workbench design, including the MFT top and all the other bells and whistles that come along with it. Of course, you can take the basic work table and adapt it backwards to a more traditional woodworking vice system. If you want to, that is completely up to you. The idea here is that it is a good set of plans for a basic work table and then from there you can adapt it to your own personal workflow as you see fit. Well that concludes my diatribe on the versatile workbench and why you should go check out my versatile workbench plans on my website. These are one of the most involved set of plans that I've done so far and hopefully you will find something useful in them. What I found is that this particular workbench design the size and the configuration of it lends itself quite well to a small wood shop environment. And if that's you, you might want to go check this out. If you want to help me continue to make and edit these videos, head on over to my donation page right over here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. There are a couple more videos on this side you can watch. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.